collecting habits going into the new year? We're gonna find out right now. Guys, I'm Mike Spider Slayer. Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. Happy New Year to you all, guys. It's great to have another new year in front of us. And let me tell you, 2022 was an insane year when it came to collecting for me, not only for buying comic books, but for reading a ton of comics. And I think the year 2022 was the year of the slab for me. At the beginning of the year, I did not have a single slab. Maybe I think I had one and I bought it for like 20 bucks or something like that, but I didn't collect any and I had no slab collecting on my mind. Well, I get a few sent to me by Mutant Beaver Comics and I wound up buying a whole bunch more because my shop started getting in slabs. Now, as you guys know, I'm not a seller. I don't I don't buy these books to sell. I buy them to collect. I was happy to add these books to my collection. So I'm going to give you a, a brief showing of what I picked up this past year when it comes to the the slabs and then uh, we're going to go into what my habits of this year are going to be like what are my goals and what do I tend to achieve here so let's take a look at some of the slabs okay so this year I wound up getting uh and sorry about the glare because of the lights but as you can see I have a 9.8 gunslinger spawn issue one and then I have a 9.4 Predator here. Uh, you got Spider-Man 2099, 9.8. I have the Amazing Spider-Man 362, the second appearance of, uh, I think it's Carnage. And then I got some others over here uh, where we get to see 9.8, which is like a Mr. Negative freaking uh, early appearance, which I could care less, but it's the brand new daytime. Another 9.8 over here with uh, issue 321 from a Todd McFarlane cover. Then you get to see a uh, free comic book day, Amazing Spider-Man. And then we have this Fantastic Four, 9.8. So I got a lot of 9.8s over here. Now I'm going to take you to the stash that I have throughout the year. Okay, so don't judge. My slabs are kept in these Bojangle boxes, but they're sturdy and they're perfect for slabs. So uh, that's where I'm keeping them for right now. But as you can see, uh, these are all the slabs that I picked up throughout the entire year. Most of them I got from my local comic shop at really good prices and from mutantbeavercomics.com as they sent me some stuff as being the sponsor for them and uh yeah there's some great ones in here we get to see there's some demon days we got that that department of truth you know we got carnage black white and blood we got that thor that's signed by donnie cates uh, here we get to see a, a venom issue this one is probably a personal favorite of mine that one is signed as well really cool book Howard the Duck, issue one, 5.5. So here we got some rum and giant size Doc Avengers, or giant size Doc Savage, one of my first ones I got also. So really cool. And then you get to see a whole other box here also. Just more slabs here. We can flip through them real quick. You know, 2001 Space Odyssey, Fantastic 497, Vision Scarlet Witch, um, issue one. Which is kind of cool. Wolverine issue two. Uh, Amazing Spider Man 179. I gotta get these bagged. Uh, Marvel team up. So, yeah, you can see Captain Marvel, Marvel Spotlight. That's that's freaking cool. Wolverine number three. X Force Crisis on Infinite Earths and 9.4. That one is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so we got a lot of slabs throughout the year. This is probably one of my favorites that one right there and i'm curious i want to know in the comments below uh i want to know how you guys arrange your slabs do you put them in order of grade or do you put them in alphabetical order do you separate the signature series from the regular ones like i'm a novice at this stuff so let me know how you guys organize them now let's get into some of my goals when it comes to collecting in 2023. 
All right, so first of all, when it comes to uh, my collecting habits in 2023, what do I want to do? What do I want to accomplish? Well, the number one thing that I want to accomplish is I need to find as many issues as I can possibly find when it comes to The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1 issues one through 100 now obviously uh, there's no way i'm going to find spider-man issue one or probably even afford that book but anywhere from under a hundred that's what i'm looking forward to finding this year i find that those books are kind of hard to find and actually i am not even looking for um the best grades i just want them in my collection i have a lot of 200s i have a lot of threes and obviously everywhere pretty much i have every issue from 300 on uh but if i can find anywhere between 100 and below that would be awesome and then i got some holes in the 200 error as well so that's my number one thing that i want to try to find number two my next collecting goal is to try to get rid of the dead weight i read a lot of comics every single week uh there's times where i read probably about 20 comics uh, a week and some of those comics are not that great and obviously my job on this channel is to help you make decisions of what comics to buy which is still going to be that way but I tend to hold on to books too long and I feel like you know what after two three issues if the book is not good or if it's not going anywhere I, I think I need to drop it right instead of just buying stuff another thing is and i said this last year i don't know if this is going to be something that i can actually control myself is to not buy as many variant covers i love the variant covers but uh sometimes i tend to buy three four copies of one comic book and it's not always necessary but i think some of these variants look really cool you know and my shop doesn't overprice them so it makes it affordable but it does take up unnecessary space so the next thing i want to cut out is the event tie-in buying now i'm not going to cut out events entirely uh i do want to find out what happens in the current universe and it seems like that seems to be the storytelling these days is these big event things that go on in the universes instead of individual stories i feel like you're getting away from less and less individual stories and more of the event stories so whenever there's tie-ins if it doesn't relate to the main story i am not going to buy those tie-ins unless it has to do with spider-man which i'm currently reading the dark web but yeah a lot of that stuff is just unnecessary fluff and as expensive as comics are these days uh you know you got to cut in certain situations right okay so next is the um one thing that i have bought here and there are these guys right here um is these statues and as much as i love statues and i would love to have more I can't buy anymore. I just I just don't have the space for it. I might be able to squeeze like another one or two somewhere on here, but I just as long as I am in this garage, I don't have room to buy more statues. If I had a full room that was dedicated to me, I'd probably buy some more. But they're they're just too too much money one and number two is I just don't have the space so maybe in the future but it looks like this year i'm probably not gonna buy a single statue so that's another thing off my list another thing that i love to buy and unless i someone gives me one you know or wants the review wants me to review something or whatever it is or i get one for a great deal is omnibuses i don't have room for omnibuses um I did buy quite a few, I think in 2022, I bought two or three or four or five on the buses and I love them. I love that collected edition where you can pick that up and read that all at any time and you don't have to go through digging through back issues and things like that. I just don't have space for it. Again, it's just, there's no space on my shelves. I have about 10 Omnis and I have a whole bunch of other trades that are filled up. Maybe if I sell those trades, maybe I could get Omnibuses instead. That might be something to look forward to. Um, but besides that, I, I can't fit it. But this cabinet over here that I have is filled with trades. 
So like I said, maybe if I sell those paperbacks, maybe I can buy some, some omnibuses. Maybe that's a way to look around it, right? Let the hobby fun for itself. That's what everyone else says. So there's that. Um, and then the one last thing that I am going to continue to do when I see good deals on them and they're issues that I want is the slab buying. Now, I started buying slabs, like I said, in, in 2022. And in 2023, it's going to continue because every once in a while, my shop gets some pretty cool slabs. They're a very affordable price. I think this week I have on hold for me a giant size Avengers issue one for 30 bucks. And it's it's not a great grade, it's a 4.5, but but why not have it in your collection, right? I, I think that would be pretty cool. And uh, whenever they have affordable slabs like that and uh, you know stuff like this, like minor keys and stuff like that, I'll pick it up, you know? Uh, I think they're cool, they're, they're just, a, awesome thing to collect and again i'm not in it for necessarily the money or to sell these comic books uh the only time i sell comics is when i have an annual garage sale in my neighborhood where i'll put everything together and stuff i want to get rid of of purge i will sell i'm going to have another one in our next coming garage sale which i don't know the date yet but i'm going to have it so there you have it there's some of the things that are in my uh, a collecting future, I should say, right? So I want to know in the comments below, what are your guys collecting habits for 2023? What do you want to collect and what do you want to change? What are those goals? Uh, this topic was actually inspired in one of my members in my Facebook group. So I want to thank them for shouting, you know, for, uh, I guess, putting that idea in my head so I could do a video for this. And I'm so curious for what you guys are going to collect. So there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful new year. I'm gonna cross my fingers that my dolphins win today. And uh, yeah, so there you guys have it. Happy new year. As always guys, if you love my content, you know what you gotta do. You subscribe, hit that pow button find other content to watch and of course guys keep buying keep collecting but most importantly always read those comics it's been like two weeks since i did like a real video so yeah it feels weird <laughs> so guys i'll see you real soon take care bye